So with this one, we're just gonna do a straightforward mushroom curry. Um, for my mushrooms, I have today, I've got 125 grams, just normal white mushrooms, 125 grams of chestnut mushrooms, 225 grams of the king oyster mushroom. I'll say a little bit more about those in a moment. Uh, and we've got 225 grams of um, ball potatoes. So roughly half a pound of potatoes. Uh, and then we've got um, what's one, one, one small onion um, chopped and uh, diced. And just a handful of coriander, fresh coriander to, to sprinkle over the dish as a garnish at the end. So I'm gonna power up. Now to start with, just a little bit of oil, um, just to, to moisten the pan. Today I'm just using a, a spray oil, a sunflower oil. Nothing fancy, just any kind of uh, vegetable oil will do. So in that goes. Now these three types of mushrooms are the most commonly found in supermarkets, but of course you can substitute your favourite mushrooms in there. Um, you, know, you can use a lot of wild mushrooms, um, and not just mushrooms, but other ingredients. I mean, today we've concentrated on mushrooms because they, they go very well in the curry. Um, and we've chosen these three simply because they're, they're, they're easily bought, so very easy for everybody to find. So the onions go in there, just uh, break those up, let them soften a bit in the pan, don't let them burn, so don't let them sit for too long. And just a moment they'll start to, to sweat a bit and, and release more of their flavour. Now you don't need very many strong flavours in this dish because it's mostly in the sauce already. So onions are probably the, you know, the, the strongest single ingredient we have in here. Uh, we'll pop the, uh, the mushrooms in. So we've got just the normal white mushrooms. These have just been quartered. Um, if you're using the smaller button mushrooms, just halve them, that'll be fine. Just bear in mind that they will um, shrink a little bit as you cook. Um, and then the, the chestnut mushrooms, again, quartered. If they're small, just halve them. Now if you do a lot of vegan cooking, then um, you'll know that mushrooms are a great way of adding plenty of flavour. You know, you've got so, a variety of textures with your mushrooms. And this king oyster mushroom in particular, um, as a whole mushroom is actually quite large. It can be anything up to sort of that, that sort of length, about five, six inches in length. And it's one of the largest of the, uh, of the oyster mushrooms. Um, but the stem itself is, is a very meaty texture. Uh, so it's a good substitute. For meat, you can you know just halve one, pop it under the grill, um, but it also delivers a really really nice umami flavour. You know, before they're cooked, when they're raw, there's actually not that much flavour to them. But once you get them get them hot, get them cooking in the pan, you know, grill them, shallow fry, stir fry, uh, it starts to release a lot of that umami flavour. Um, given their size, they don't shrink that much either. So you, you imagine that most mushrooms do shrink when you cook them, but these are uh, the, the, the king oyster mushrooms are very resistant to that. And they stand up well to being tossed around in the pan, they won't break down. Another reason for choosing mushrooms to go into the curry uh, is that mushrooms are great at absorbing flavour. We use them a lot as well with our black bean sauce. Um, but uh, the curries, they absorb all that curry flavour. Um, they hang on to it, you know, and you can serve it with rice. You can have a dry curry if you don't want too much sauce and you still get all the flavour in there. Um, you know, or just pop a bit more sauce in and um, serve on some plain rice or noodles. Okay, the temperature's back up. Now go in the potatoes. So remember these have been boiled um, 8 to 10 minutes depending on the size of the potato. You know, peel them, boil them and then let them cool and cube them. So keep everything roughly the same, same sort of shape and size. So everything is between one and two centimeter cubed. 
Now I'm going to be a bit more gentle with the potatoes. I don't want to break them down too much. So I'm just stirring them very gently into it in the pan. I can feel now just from stirring that um, you know the mushrooms have lost the hardness. They're starting to soften a little bit. So that's an indication to me that they're, they're nearly done. Um, there's more moisture being released from in particular the white mushrooms. And you can tell a lot just from, from stirring in the pan gently. You can you know get a feel for your ingredients. Uh, you know when they're starting to, to soften. Uh, and just visually, you know, a little bit of brownness coming on the outside there. But as that moisture gets released from the onions, you can um, just simmer it a little bit, just to boil off some of that moisture. And you don't want that diluting the taste of the curry. So that's been in there now, what, what do you think it's been about five minutes? Yeah, about five minutes just keeping them stirred in the pan. Uh, okay, I'm just going to quickly show, show you what I've got in the pan there so you can get an idea there of the, of the textures and, and the size that they've shrunk down to over there. Um, as you can see, you know, the king oyster mushrooms still reasonably good, good size. Uh, what I'm going to do, we've got, we've got quite a lot here, so this, you've probably got enough here to serve between three and four people. Uh, give the jar a shake. Again, at room temperature, it will be runny. Anything colder, it might be a little bit thick. So do, um, you know, if you've, if you've kept some in the fridge, just take it out of the fridge, let it get, uh, come to room temperature. It'll be easier to work with, so there you go. And make a little well in the middle. So, I put almost the full the whole jar in there, see how we get, and then once that's in, let that coat gently. Now you don't want to boil the curry sauce, it's um it's designed just to be reheated and, and that's all you need to do really. So just gently Moving ingredients around, let that sauce coat. So as I say, you can put as much or as little sauce as you want. Um, if you want it runny, you have then bones, add some more on you. So just a, a sprinkling of coriander there. I'm going to hold that up to let people see.